Hello. Hi, I'm Anne Toba and I work um, on the Right to Control project. My area of work is actually working with the um, design group members and they are made up of uh, disabled residents from the five local authorities that are involved in Right to Control in the Manchester Trailblazer. Um, my own, um, I don't have personal experience of Right to Control, I can only go on what I've learned from people that I've met um, who were part of the design group um, and perhaps a little bit wider than that linked to the Centre for Independent Livings but I do know that um, the Office for Disability Issues are recommending that uh, Right to Control continue for a further year uh, for a further 12 months so that they can look at the address the culture change that was needed within the stakeholders, which is the local authorities, the Department of Work and Pensions, and other agencies that are involved in right to control. So research seems to indicate that it needs to be looked at for a further twelve months, of which I'm very supportive. It's it's a big it's a big change, a big culture change, the actual um, idea of right to control. Uh, going across the country, uh, there is, however, a little bit of a, a little bit of a caveat or concern as to whether all the partners that um, are part of rights control are going to be continue to be worked with for the twelve months, and there seems to be a little bit of a question mark over as to whether the design group, for example, as part of the Manchester Centre for Independent Living, will continue. And I find it um, difficult to um, understand if the Trailblazer project is being continued for a year, then I would have thought that all parties involved would have continued to be involved.